Got joined onto all hot and cold pipes there. To the basin. Back down there, two foot toilet. Hot tea for the bath. Cold bowel steam right under there. Hot and cold under there. Teak down there. And then it'll drain down through the kitchen sink. Hot and cold's joined back up. Just to get bounce cold back to there, might put that to 22. Back to where it should be. <coughs> Just come in here and looked at the heating because her heating doesn't work very well. I'm looking at all them last. That's like a downstairs radiator. But the downstairs radiator, last T, is there and it's going in. So it's, it's effectively coming back from the radiator, coming down there, going down the return for the upstairs heating, coming back down from the upstairs heating going up that and then that's the attic and then there's the return and it's just, so effectively it's, the zone valves don't work it's just going around the whole house so I'm going to take that out so that's the hot water zone valve that was on before only a well one so there's a bit of good amount of flow through that one this is the, the, the down straight and I can't remember the tiny not a lot, they're a bit smaller. But I'm going to put 28 in for eating on both, so it'll be a lot bigger. Small roll there, but on the outlet, a lot more flow through that. Yeah, that bit will little diagram. I'm going to do there, come up down to the hot water cylinder. And upstairs eating 28 and then tee off to 22 and 28 down. And then I got the other side, I've got a little a little diagram. So it might not fully look like that, but it's something like that. And the tea pieces are in right spots, so that's upstairs and downstairs. The tea didn't last spot there. Oh, it should have been not, not in two separate spots. But also if it ever gets split up in future, it should work as well. And there's boiler return coming back down there. There's the downstairs return with that radiator that was teed in wrong. That's teed in now with the downstairs. So they're all downstairs are in one T. So it's not going to backflow. And then that just goes up there and that will go to the to the cylinder. We've got there. Upstairs floor. That's going to come up there and join into that one up there. Come across. That's upstairs. That's downstairs. Flow is that one, and then there's a boiler flow, and there's a cylinder flow that's going to come across round and then up. It wants to be took out that socket that was in there, it did come through it with a wick nail, that's why there's a epto socket on it. So it's in and working now. We've got the that's the flow pipe, as I mentioned earlier this morning, got that going down to the hot water cylinder. Turn coming back down, join that in. And then there's uh, downstairs heating goes down there. I think I've done a video on that before, where it tees back. Upstairs heating in 28, as far as it'll go to there. And that goes upstairs. That's joined in there. Put a ball valve on there, just so you can test that real easy, because this had no pressure in it at all, so I've re that up to a bar, whether it wanted a bit more, with there being another floor above this. But uh, that should hopefully stop it blowing off now. I think that's all I was to show you.